There was a significant relation between the task and the sex of the adult partner whom the children chose. Chi squared 58 equals 14.78 probability uh, less than 0 0.01. There was a significant relation between the task and the sex of the adult partner whom the children chose. This would be chi squared, no space in here, and then 1 with the total sample of 58. So we're going to have the degrees of freedom are going to be included inside the parentheses and then the chi-squared result over here with the p and that all looks good. It's this part here where we have the problem, the notation. For increasing drug dosage, the mean of 5.6, 4.3, and 1.7 respectively. And the correct way to write this would be to write out the word means because we're only going to be using the M when we actually have it related to a formula. So N equals something, 55, something like this, right? But if you're actually not using it that way, you're writing, then in that case you go ahead and just write out the English word. The means were, or the mean is, something like that. The students who agreed to participate, n equals 130, were divided into groups according to the severity of their deficiency. And here, of course, this must be wrong because here we have a small n, but here we say they're divided into groups. So we start with 130, then we divide them into groups. But that's not possible because n, big N, capital N, is the total sample small n is the subsample. So the better way to write this would be that the capital N, the total sample, was 130, and then we divided them into groups. That makes more sense. Now later those groups may be smaller groups, and group one group may be equal to 100, and another group may be equal to 30, thus the total of 130. One group of participants, n equals 34, received tutorials in the use of word processing program. And the correct way, of course, is the opposite of the problem we just had. So here we have one group, but here this n is the total sample. So we need to change this to be the subsample, which is the small n. Again, remember, it's italicized. Okay, those are the examples for the part of the mathematical and statistical. It's a little bit easy, but it's also a little bit confusing. I think when you're typing, you're writing, you run into these problems, you go, wait, is degrees of freedom italicized or not? Is n big n or small n? What do I do with the F test? How do I write the degrees of freedom? And you get all confused. It's best to go ahead and keep your writing going, keep your flow going, don't stop, but remember to check each one of your formulas, each one of your numbers, how they should be written correctly. Then go through and follow that every single time. And it's probably best to check it early and maybe make a note and remember it rather than you write your whole thing and each time do it differently or you do it the wrong way many times, which I've done that before. You just do it one way and then you just keep changing it the wrong, you keep doing it the wrong way and at the end you gotta change them all back and it's a big mess. All right, I'll see you next time in our class looking at tables and figures.